It's September 10th, 2024. Duck Soup Podcast. We has returned. Welcome to Duck Soup with Josh Purple, Garrett Kirby, and Shaheen Milchin. Feels good to hear that song, hear that lady. Guys, I missed you. You've taken, what, two years, three years off? Feels good to be back. We went on hiatus is a nicer way to say it. Season two dropping now. Is that what we're saying? I like it. I like it. Yes, that's exactly what we're saying. And I just dropped dropped, uh, this little bit of information on you guys moments before the show started. That's a completely different format. It's pretty much not even the same show. It's a whole new soup. Uh, because does what do you guys think of soup? Is that the only thing that am I the only one that thinks of soup that way, or it's just a bunch of different shit and things can mix around? Like that's how I think of soup. It's just a soup fest. There's nothing going on. Just just a bunch of random shit. So there's really no rhyme or reason to to like any of this stuff. So it's gonna it's gonna mix and match all the time. Am I the only one thinking about soup that way? No, I think you define soup well. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) There's other foods that have a bunch of different ingredients. I don't even understand the soup metaphor. I don't understand. Like goulash? Have you guys ever had the dish goulash? (laughs) Sure. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Goulash. I am going to say maybe. Goulash. Okay. Goulash. Well, it's a Norwegian dish, and my grandma used to make it all the time. Love her to death. I gotta say, it's a solid four, four out of ten on the meal. While their uh, grandma, not very good. Not Signature very good. dish is a sub five. Wow, dude, for yeah. sure. I think it was just hamburger helper with like whatever else is in the cabinet. You know, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. just mix it in. So we could have called it. We could have called it duck goulash, which is you know what? That's got a nice. It's got a nice fucking ring to it. I gotta admit. I gotta admit, duck goulash. Um, so. The inspiration of the show originally was from Talk Soup or The Soup. And so it's kind of been slowly kind of going towards that direction, at least in my mind. I haven't been like really necessarily sharing that with you guys. And so this episode is going to be very (laughs) Talk Soupy, very Talk Soupy. And unlike, well, uh, yeah, I guess not not like Talk Soup, how they would do uh, talk shows, you know, daytime shows, clips from reality TV stuff. This is a podcast, and so we're doing that same formula with other podcasts. And I thought that could be good because if you guys listen to any podcasts and you guys, hey, check out this clip. This could be a good like conversation starter for for the for the duck soup. We can talk about this. So it doesn't restrict us, right? We're not just going to talk about sports. We're not just going to talk about uh, you know current affairs, like anything, everything on the table. Any podcast, anybody's welcome to to get duck souped. And so that's kind of the format. And so I have a few different shows we're going to outline. Going to play it just. Just like talk soup, just or the soup. Play a clip, little intro, form a discussion around it. Go on to the next a little boom, 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 boom. How we feel? How we feeling about that concept, fellers? I feel goulash. Good. I feel goulash. Good. Good. Well, that's along what I like to for hear. the ride, along for that. Can that's I point I out that is a season two, like. Uh, most shows there were season to season two so we have a lot of room to fail here the wire people say skip season two you know what i mean one of the greatest shows of all time Mm -hmm. so this could we could just fail miserably and be okay for sure i like your heads up that's a that's a tagline for this skip this season that's about to happen (laughs) just skip it (laughs) just wait for next season to start okay guys just skip this one smart so uh yeah so, uh, all right, we'll just we'll go into the first little, uh, first little show. First little segment. Some, some clips are just a little heads up. Some clips are like 30 seconds. I think there's a clip or two that might be like a two minute clip. So bear with me. I have it set on 1.25 speed on the old, uh, YouTube. Let me just confirm that's what it is still playback speed. Nope. It's on normal. So now it's on 1.25. Okay. Just save us a little bit of time. You know, save us a little time. Mm-hmm. Um, first clip of the day, clip uno. Bad Friends Podcast. 
this is a, I mean, I'm a fan. It's a, it's a buddy podcast. Uh, and this clip, Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino, who are the hosts, they talk about a condition that um, I kind of feel like I've been suffering from since probably the age of like two, two and a half, something like that. And uh, let's see if you guys are kind of in the same boat as I am. What is my, what is I really have a concern, concern, and I'm being serious about this. Yeah. My memory my feels, like feels like I'm, I'm slipping away. Dude, I'm not, bro, I swear to fucking God, dude. I, the other night, I thought I was losing my memory. I've like started to forget things way more Me often. too, me too, and here's another thing, dude. The other day I was laying in bed and I was like, trying to think of Arsenal players that I'm a big fan of, and I couldn't remember like four or five of them. What's going on with us? No, I'm being real. Me too, I'm yeah. not making and it I think up. So there's something in the water, something in the there's water. something going on where I'm like forgetting things. Or sometimes I'll play Stardew Valley, and I'm like, like, like if I had to pick turnips, or not turnips, um, what, is, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, it was melons. I go, I, look, you just forgot that. I forgot that. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. And I was like running to, because I had to pick melons, right? Because I had to make pink cake. Oh, pink cake. Yeah, because it was a. Uh, you pan to say pancake? No, pink cake. Pink, pink cake. Oh, pink cake. <laughs> no, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> okay. All right. Right. And I'm like, because it was fucking Haley's birthday, right? No, Penny's birthday. I forgot that. See? Uh, right. And then I was running, and I was like, what am I running toward? Whoa. Like, I didn't know what I was running toward. I go, what was I doing? And I had to think for a while. I go, oh, yeah, melon, melon. What? But when you're running for melons and you forget it, that's, that's a danger. Dude. I've been running for melons my whole life. Dude, so what is going on with you? Tell me what you forgot. I'm doing little things now that I used to never do. My memory's usually, I'm usually very sharp. And well, for, you, I've always said I have no long-term memory. It's crazy. It's mm. gone. But the short-term used to be so good. But I'm doing things I used to never do that would bother me. Like what? I'll put a thing somewhere forget where I put it. Fuck. And I never do that. Wow. I lost a car key. Dude. I lost a car key. Hello. What is going on? The other day I was like, where's my car key? And I'm being real. I where is it? I lost a car key. It was in my hand. In your hand. <laughs> the woman at the dealership goes, well, you got the car home because I had the second key. Mm. And she goes, so it's somewhere in your house. Don't, you don't know. I can't, no. I cannot tell you. Yeah. And I'm telling you this, without Find My, I would have no fucking devices. Oh my God, thank God for Find My. Dude, without Find My, no devices. Isn't that a cousin of yours? Find my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. I, my cousin runs around. <laughs> Tell me I'm not alone here, guys, on this on this podcast. Tell me I'm not alone here. I can't remember a goddamn thing, guys. I swear. <clears throat> and it's just it just hit, hit me out of nowhere. Like in the last, like it's like my vision and my short term memory gone. Same thing with Andrew Santino. My my long term. You guys asked me to tell you a story. I'm gonna I'm gonna half make half of it up so I don't sound like an idiot because I can't remember a damn thing. But the short term thing is like unreal sometimes, dude. I know everybody goes like, "Oh, what did I walk in this room here for?" Yeah, but I walk into every time I walk into a room, <laughs> I'm like, "Why am I walking into this room?" I can't remember a goddamn thing, guys. It's 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 kind of borderline creepy too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the 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 short term, I feel Did like. You, are we all, are we all forties? Are we all forties? Yep, forty club. Yeah, so short term's gonna get worse and worse and worse. I have people tell God. me story stories about myself, uh, stories that I did, and I'm like, I did that. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you're an you're an alcoholic though, so I just need it to feel oh. better. I need it to feel better. It's my medicine. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> it, it, but it's but it just keeps it's just grad like as weeks go by, it just gradually gets worse and worse and worse. It like so when it comes to like work, work, I have I think I have like four different type of note system and reminders, so I don't forget shit because I will like forget. I'm like, hey Josh, uh, what's going on with this? I'm like, you're gonna have to give me a little more uh, detail of what you're looking for here. And they're like, you know, like the thing we had like four meetings about, and like we talked for hours. And I'm like, oh Christ, oh yeah, 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 okay, that kind of thing. So uh, yeah. And it just it like is it just an age thing? Does everybody who gets older, their memory just goes too? That's just hand it goes hand in hand. The short term memory is a very common uh, diminishing ability as you get older. Um, I also do think to a certain extent, like there's certain things like you depend on others for, and then you get used to that, and then you're not even actively trying to remember stuff as well. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I know we had a text exchange not too long ago about like, oh, yeah, what do you think you had for dinner two days ago? And it's like trying to remember, you know, things that arguably are kind of like nuanced anyway, where it's like, eh, mm -hmm. you know, you're not mm -hmm. losing anything by not remembering, you know, what you had for lunch or something. But the walking into a room and forgetting why you came in the room in the first place. <laughs> I mean, it sucks. That's a, that's a terrible. That's a terrible thing. 
Or how about like work calls? Oh, good. Sorry. Yeah, no. Go what what do people do before this? That's my question, dude. I am constantly setting reminders. What? Because I like remind me to do this in twenty minutes, and when it goes Mm -hmm. off, I'm like, oh fuck, I completely forgot about that. (laughs) I it like this has like auto payments, auto payments, and reminders on your phone have Mm -hmm. literally changed my life. Like, Mm -hmm. where would I be Mm -hmm. without those things? Oh, maybe is technology just like conditioned us so we don't have to access memory uh, points of the brain uh, so much? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't, I don't have to. I don't. I'm not practicing that muscle memory, so it's like I don't. Yeah. It's, it's gonna. It's, if you don't use it, you lose it. They say, you know. Yeah, it's not the alcohol. It's not. It's the. It's the muscle. Yeah, it's the muscles getting. Hold on, one well, second. Let me just get this straight. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, also like on Monday, Monday work calls, right? Like, hey, Josh, happy Monday. I'm like, oh, happy Monday. Hey, what'd you do uh, yesterday? Oh shit. Uh let me think about this for a second. Uh let's see. That was nine hours ago. Uh and like I and I struggle. I'm the kind of shit. I struggle big time. And uh yeah, compared to my life now to when I was a young lad, you know, you only had yourself to worry about. Now you have like, you know, kids and, and wife schedule and all those things to juggle, you know, plus stress. I feel like stress doesn't help with like memory. So all those things factored together, that's I guess I just and then getting older. Um Kind of just as a, an equation for uh for my not remembering shit. <laughs> yeah. You ever try? You ever try any of those like okay. uh, muscle like those brain games like things? Like Ginkgo biloba. Yes. Like well, remember how many like pieces of gum I was chewing like in the past? I'd keep chewing <laughs> those fucking pieces of gum. <laughs> was it for memory? When, yes, it was supposed to help you like for brain. Yeah, brain function like to access um, yeah memory quicker and all stuff. Yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> Yes, I can't believe I remembered I did that too. Couldn't tell you the name of them. Couldn't tell you the name of them. Nicotine patch. Nicotine patch. You Um, ever try like they have those apps that are like supposed to be like exercises for your brain and all that? You ever try Mm -hmm. any of those? No, I I scroll (laughs) Instagram. That counts. It's worse. That makes it worse. Like I I genuinely think think social media makes like for sure mindless quick release. I actually think, and that's why I think yes. Garrett and I both know what video you're talking about for that Notre Dame kid. You just <laughs> saw it, but I'm telling you that is like two or three is years it? It probably old. Is. God dang, I got to yeah. find it now. I posted it. That, anyway, I'm there. Uh, that's with my kiddos too. I have to, they like to watch the most brain numbing type of YouTube, like kid con- content. Mm-hmm. I'm just like. This, there's, there's no value being added to you. Like you're not trying to like, cause some stuff is like, you know, solve a mystery or like, you know, even like get up and like dance kind of thing. This is just like kids screaming at action figures <laughs> and they're zooming in, zooming out, zooming in, cut sound effects, graphics, kids jump. I'm like, what is even happening right now, kid? And they're like, I don't know, dad, but I need to watch it again. Play that sucker back. <laughs> God. So yeah, that's a, uh, all right. Glad I'm not. Yeah, that's it. I think. He, nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That, that's, that's not, not it. the one. Okay, that's from 2017. Okay, that's not. I gotta find it now. Dang it! I gotta find. I'm, I'm pretty sure. No, who'd, they, I, who'd they play this week? Uh, Northern Illinois yeah. University. Yeah. Yeah. Go Wolfpack or Wolves? What, what were we oh. talking about? <laughs> clip. <laughs> Yo, yeah. clip. Clip two. <laughs> Uh, this past weekend, hosted by Theo Vaughn, he's a, I love that guy, what a special dude. Uh, Theo Vaughn and this clip right here is interviewing a lifelong mall cop. And, uh, on this, uh, on this clip here, uh, the lifelong mall cop brings up a little, little moment of nostalgia that I kind of forgot about. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad he brought this up. This is awesome. Here's a store, Here's for, a store you. for you. Sharper, Sharper image. image. That, was, that the was the fucking jam, jam right there. <sighs> Sharper image was like by far, I think Sharper Image was the reason I got a mall job. Actually, wow. no, no shit. Because oh yeah, it was where the future. It's where Elon Musk Fuck was born. Yeah, bro. Sharper Image was. Dude, it. Wasn't he born in a Sharper Image? <laughs> that, this was our Elon Musk. Yes, right. Straight sharper up. fucking Image, dude. You would find a hair dryer that could sort coins and um, massage your feet. Yeah, and massage your feet. Tell your blood type mm-hmm. and tell you if your mom was being a B I T C H or not. And then they would have like a remote control car that you could never fucking afford. Always. Yeah. And it was like it was like the best one. I don't even know what that is, but I wanted it. You know, oh, they had ev- dude because everything in there, none of it was like all none of it made any like it was a ridiculous. They had like a wallet that could grate cheese. They had uh, like what you know they had like those things you'd put your um, women right there. What is that? 
little foot spa foot spa <laughs> at home foot spa mm -hmm. those things that everybody bought and never used they never, had, never never ever but never. sharper image was it dude they'd have like weird little like um what is this premium innovative defrosting tray you could just set your meat out on a tray and it would defrost that's called a counter um <laughs> <laughs> uh god sharper image what a legendary store man it's like i feel like every mall had every mall had it i just i would i go there every single time to go sit in the chairs the massage chairs oh, yeah. like i was gonna say it was the chairs oh, yeah it was yes the, it was the massage chair, the zero gravity oh, whatever god. yeah uh, oh, so I don't know about I don't know about wallets that grated cheese, but I do remember they had the uh, <laughs> like the bladeless. They were like the first place you would see the bladeless, um, like a like a like a fan. Yeah. Right now oh, they yes. just got, and it was like it was like how how is this moving air, mm -hmm. right? And it was <laughs> yeah. just this big oval and just air. And it was like, but there's no yeah. there's no fan. How is it blowing Magic. air at me? Yeah. Was this before the and internet? Were, were those around before the internet? It's got sharper be, right? yeah. absolutely. I, yeah, this is like, I feel absolutely. like ninety, like nineties. I feel like you would go there to be like, not to buy anything, just to look around and see what kind of innovations humanity was making, yep. and you would brag to your friends how you knew about these things, <laughs> and that they'd be like, "No way, they're making that!" Like, yeah, dude, trust me. I, I saw go it. To, go to Sharper Image, dude. <laughs> go check out Sharper Image. Heck, yeah. well, another thing too. Everything walking there, everything was like minimum a hundred bucks. I feel like anything. Oh, like, yeah, it like, was so expensive. Ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous yeah. so i was like okay i'm gonna have to like sacrifice four christmases <laughs> to get like this freaking you know like a hat with a fan on it or something Ooh. yeah i couldn't yeah yeah those are pretty nifty uh yeah i never bought a damn thing in that place uh because it's like one of the things like yeah super super duper cool but uh probably not gonna you know for one not really super practical and probably not gonna use it a whole bunch and no, i don't think i want to drop three hundred dollars everything was, everything on this. was uh, a certain amount of like plastic kind of gimmicky mm -hmm. feel like nothing ever felt mm -hmm. solid uh <laughs> but it was cool to look at like it was like Very all cool. concept stuff and it was like this could be really cool in 10 years when it's a fourth the price and then they they went bankrupt so <laughs> is there anything like that now is there anything comparable or is it just you look up you look up uh fun interesting gifts on amazon and it might take you past something like that there's nowhere to go I think so yeah there's no source for cool stuff now yeah. I mean, uh -huh. when's the last time you went to like a, like you went to a physical place to go shopping? I mean, I was like, gonna man, ask, not counting. Yeah, I was gonna say, when's the last time you've been to a mall? Yeah, you know, like I mean, I mean, and even, I mean no one's going to a place like that anymore. No, it's the end of an era. God, but I did love that store. I was just be like, sweet, mom's gonna go to J.C. Penney's. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a free 99 minute massage in this chair. <laughs> and the old lady too, and all, the lady, the lady working there would always give you the stink eye because like she knows you're not gonna buy a goddamn thing. Yeah. You're just coming over there to, to milk the chair for 45 minutes. It's like you're for shithead. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, lady, I got a camouflage Velcro wallet. I can't buy a fucking shit. How much money do you think I got in this thing? A little coin purse. Um. <laughs> You're sitting in a massage chair the wrong way, kid. I know what you're doing. Turn around. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Take me oh. back. She's so, man, sneaky, sneaky. And then it would reach sneaky, around. Sneaky. It would reach yeah. around a little bit. Yeah. No, nobody, nobody leaves in a recliner face first. <laughs> Lost my virginity to it in a sharper image. Um, Harlan Williams. Gotta love that guy. What a talk about being unique. Yeah, Theo Vaughn and Harlan Williams, a couple of unique dudes. Their terminology and vocabulary is just, it's very impressive to hear, hear those guys just talk about stuff. Uh, Harlan Williams, you might know him from, uh, you know, the guy that, from the uh, Dumb and Dumber, the cop that pulls him over with the, you know, it's a cardigan, but thanks for asking type of thing. Drinks a pee pee. He has a, he has a podcast called the Harlan, Harlan Highway. You guys ever listen to that? You listen to Harlan Williams? Okay. No. Uh, Harlan Williams <laughs> on this clip is uh, talking to uh, Ryan Sickler. Uh, you may recognize him. He played Ricky in the uh, 2015 smash hit Bachelor. Uh, and he was asking a question that I am going to ask you two guys because I got to hope you guys can bring some content and uh, let me know what you're let me know your answer here because it's some good shit. And you know what? Might maybe uncomfortable. Who in knows? your life, personally, what's well, one of the, the and you don't, you don't have, have to divulge it, but I'll ask the question. What's one of the worst lies you think you ever told 
that was sort of hurtful to you or maybe hurtful to a situation or to another person. And again, if it's too touchy, you don't have to divulge it. But on the flip side, I'm going to ask you, what's one of the best lies you ever told that you kind of had to make for self-preservation or to get yourself out of something or to help yourself or somebody? Great question. Yeah. Great question. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Am I looking forward to these guys? are about to fly, fly my way. Here's, I'll tell you guys about me. I lie a lot. <laughs> I lie a lot. But they're not that bad. Like, I don't really have any ones that I feel guilty about. Like, especially when I was younger, like in high school. Boy, oh, boy, I lied. Like, I mean, to get out of shit or like to say, you know, like whatever. Lie all the time. Just lie, just coming out of it. Hey, where were you at after school? Here's a lie. Josh, you said you're supposed to be over here. You're not. Yep. Big fucking lie. I just lied all the time. But nothing's like that I actually regret, you know, like nothing. My favorite one ever was I had to, uh, I had to lie to my teacher so I could leave school early so I could drive down to watch San Francisco Giants and Barry Bonds play baseball. But again, see, that's just like not her. Am I losing any? Yeah. Am I losing any sleep over that? No. But I don't have any like... <sighs> I don't really have any doozies that's going to be like, boy, you're, that's, you're kind of a dickhead, Josh. You know, like I don't have any of those things. And listen, guys, I know you two, just by the looks of your fave, have some deep, deep, dark secrets. We don't have to go there if you don't want to, but feel free to, to get silly. If you guys have any good ones that, that, uh, that, you know, sparked some, uh, some good stories. Um, cause I don't even know if I'm prepared to hear some of your guys' truth. Uh, yeah, cause dark. Fuck. Dark. Yeah. Fuck. Good God, I know. Like, I know that you have lied Sean on killed every. Me, guaranteed. <laughs> you have lied on every job interview, every oh, resume see? you've ever had, right? Thousand percent. Oh, you can't get a hold of my past employer. It's because they went out of business six months ago. <laughs> I would yes. love to like, uh, get you in contact with him. I, I, I think if we, to. I think we could pull ten more friends on this podcast and just ask collectively. Raise your hand. If you've been called as a reference to a job that no longer exists because it went out of business, but you're the reference. Of course. Of course. I mean, that's how I got so many jobs. I'm, I'm with, here's what I am. I'm like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the position and I'll figure it out as we go. I'll figure it out. As, especially in this day and age with how to YouTube. I'm fine. I'll figure it out. I'm a problem solver. I'm a liar, but I'm a problem solver. <laughs> uh... I have two that come to mind. One of yeah. them is job. One of them is job related. Uh, okay. I was interviewing for a uh, a county job. Two. Oh God. Bless yeah. Uh, Lord, the God. county job was going to be working for uh, Caltrans. Was going to pay like stupid money, whatever. And uh, I'm doing this phone interview, and things are going great. Things are going whatever. And at one point, one guy's like, "Well, hey man, this is going great, man. You're you're answering all the questions, great. All right, we have one last question." Uh, when hooking up to a stubble disc to take through a field, what's the, what kind of process do you follow to connect to a stubble disc? And I basically pretended for like five minutes that like the phone was breaking up, you know? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm sorry. Can you, I was like, I, yeah, I was doing the full on, like, like the breaking of the audio, whatever, while I'm Googling stubble disc. And in the end, in the end, I go, well, I guess the first thing I do is I make sure I'm connected properly. <laughs> and they actually, they actually wanted to offer me the job, but COVID hit. And they're uh, like, hey, you know, we've been yeah, hiring freeze. Otherwise, uh, the second one, uh, again, more advantageous. Uh, uh, my Two uncle lies? Going, my uncle and I were going to uh, uh, an F, uh, yeah, it was an F1 race. And we, we sort of didn't have one extra ticket. But we got to the gate and it was like, well, they first started doing like digital tickets on the phones. They scanned my uncle's ticket. It let him in. I had a ticket that was already used. And I was like, oh, hey, my bad. Like our friends are inside. They must have given us the wrong ticket. And the guy's like, well, you can't come in. I go, oh, okay, well, hey, can we just stay right here in line with thousands of people behind me? And he'll come right back and, and there'll just be a minute. He'll come right back. And the guy was like, uh, it's fine just go it's fine just go <laughs> and so he he waved me in so i got into the race for free because there was you know, yeah. a thousand people trying to get in and i just took someone else's <laughs> ticket on my phone Beautiful. he scanned the qr code already used so i was like oh my bad small mistake 
how about we just wait right here while we fix it? And he was like, uh, no, no, fuck it. Go, go. <laughs> Beautiful. That seems like a Beautiful. good one. That is a good one. I like that one. Garrett, you, have you lied? Cause I know you go to church. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I did, a scam. I did lie when I was telling my wife that I trusted you guys and you were good people. But now I know that you've lied twice and once in elementary between the two of you. Um, gonna have to tell her the truth start to pop starting to add up starting to add up these lies are starting yeah i don't sorry my dog dog Mm -hmm. um i i i it's it's a weird question like if it is a weird question i know like if you gave me some time like if we prepared for this all week i'm sure i would come up with things (laughs) i'd be like oh my god i can't believe i did that and then not telling you guys um Well, if you remember the question, we'll bring it up next week. <laughs> <Be like, laughs> you don't have like a, like a dumb thing you told, like get out of in tr- being in trouble for something. Or <laughs> mm-hmm. that's not that's not a hurtful off. lie, though. That's not that's the point. The question is, have you done anything you really regret? Where you lied and it hurt someone else or yourself, right? So, yes, <clears> sweetie, <throat> I was wearing protection, like that kind of thing. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hooey, hooey. Yeah. Uh, there's a yep. whole show about that. Um, oh, pff, all right. <laughs> Episode 23, pull out or not? Jeez Louise. Uh, I can't think. I can't think of anything. We, maybe I'll think of one later and I'll just stop the show. And all tell right, you just inter- yeah, interrupt, interrupt the show. <sighs> Next clip, Mean Girl Podcast. Um, uh, first time your, I heard about it, but this came, oh, this is your favorite podcast, right? Mean girl. Yeah. Mean girl. Po- yeah. Fuck, fuck the positivity. Mean girl podcast. Uh, this came across the old algorithm. So, uh, this is the only thing I really know about the show, but Alex Benet and, uh, Jordan Woodruff come together for honest conversations about sex, friendship, mental health, and living in the big city as outsiders. Uh, these two, I thought kind of presented a very interesting question and, uh, got me thinking. Why? Uh, why is this? This seems to be true for a lot of a uh, lot of ladies. I read. I read. Men have yeah. video, games video games and sports. sports. What do women, women have? have? Like they have golf. Sephora. We don't we have, like, have like a. Like there's a, no. There's no sport that a gr- that girls go play all day long with each other on the weekends. Like we don't have that. No, men have all these like little activities that they get to do. And I'm like, what do we do? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> On a regular, like things to do on a regular basis that don't involve eating, drinking, or being on my phone, or like the basics, like I read. I feel like that is true. I feel like dudes get together and have activities together, but I don't. I don't really know. Like I know, like my wifey, she goes and they'll do like brunch, you know, and they'll go like hang out and just give me get coffee. But as far as like actually going and meeting up and doing an activity, not really. I can't really think of too many times that's happened. You know, maybe they'll do like a paint night. But, you know, like a lot of dudes have like, hey, every, like once a month or once a week, we're going to go golfing or like, you know, we're going to go whatever, go play, uh, you know, uh, Hero's Quest or uh, Magic Return of the Jedi or something. Um, you know, what I'm women, women have a are you free tonight? Let's meet up to do our thing. And it, hearing them say it mm-hmm. <clears throat> rings very true, um, mm-hmm. I, although I don't have those things either now that I've given up sports because of my age i don't want to get hurt you know that kind of thing yeah but right like i don't i don't do golf i don't play video games so like i don't i don't have those things either but i don't know that i know women that have ever done that i mean mm-hmm. but i'm, I'm trying like getting the psyche like why why is that why is it like that i don't well i don't i mean i also think that depends on like your own again your own experiences i've known women that were in running groups uh, women that played beach volleyball that would do that on Fridays. Like mm-hmm, when I lived mm-hmm. in, when I lived in Southern California, that was totally a thing. A bunch of girls <laughs> would go play volleyball every Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know that that's that's one of those things where it's like you're asking three dudes to talk about all women. And it's like I don't know that we're going to be the, the experts on this because well, I have known a lot of women that have a lot more activities than that. But I get what <laughs> you're saying about where like because it like like I know like yeah I'm not playing a sport necessarily, but it's like hey what are you guys doing tonight you guys all want to get together and 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 sit chill in my garage and watch the big screen and watch sports or whatever like it's activity based Mm -hmm. but maybe not as much in the way of sports now but i don't know but i 
I think that's like one of those things where it's like you're talking about your five degrees of, of awareness around you and, and you're trying to throw everything into that. I don't I don't know. My experience has been very different from that. Hmm. Other those are athletes you're talking about. Other than that, sports. I guess it's just video games. No, because I mean, get together and watch sports. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, women do that too. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they yeah, have watch. I mean, are we are we talking about like people hanging out? <laughs> like, there's all kinds of things people do. Well, if, no, I think we're talking about. Related. I think we're talking about like like. Oh, I mean, like, a sport is a factor, but I think it's, it's a hobby, like acti- activity, it's or a hobby hobbies. related. Yeah, I feel like guys have other guy group of hobbies more so than the ladies do. Uh, Interesting. I'm mm-hmm. thinking about the women in my life. I'm very close to women, mm-hmm. some women other than my wife. Um, and I don't think that they, I'm not trying to make it weird. I'm just saying like, yeah, I'm, too late. No, yeah. Save, yeah. Like I think, I think of my, I think of my wife's friends and they, I don't, not that I'm aware of that. They have like hobbies that they do with other groups. Yeah, of they, I mean, they, they go, they go hiking. They go, they do watch parties, like, like whatever, you know, stupid show that, that, you know, that maybe other people mm-hmm. in their lives aren't into. So then they go, to that group to then hang out and watch that show and turn it into the. But, but wouldn't you say on a, on a more regular basis that it's more of a more so that guys get together for stuff like hobbies and activities than girls do, or you think it's just I you, I'm just saying sure. as a as a rule of thumb. <laughs> well, it seems for like sake. Shaheen, it seems like you're saying mean girls are wrong. Is that what you're saying? I think if you're going to talk about something of all right when you're going to do that all encompassing no, no, well, no, they, no, i no. i think that's where you've got to be careful of doing stuff like that so i always I, that's always me no, when i get no, stuff no, like no, here no, well no, i know no. there's i know there's an exception to the rule but i just feel like there, if for the for the argument's sake and for most most people it's, it is a, it is a guys get together with other guys to do activities or hobbies than more so than ladies get to i know there's always an exception but i'm just saying majority most of the time yeah. i mean it's i don't crazy. know if my wife has a hobby I don't know. My wife has a yeah, hobby. That's what, yeah. mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Think. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like my wife, Weird. they'll go to, like, she'll go to brunch, like, you know, every now and then, but it's not, it's nothing like super consistent. And they'll go to like Ooh. coffee every now and then with like a friend or two. But I as far Garrett's, as like, Hey, we're. I think Garrett's right there to be like, wait a minute. Am I my wife's hobby? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Chicks hang out. Chicks do stuff. They just don't have their. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. like a thing, I don't play like video games, but guys do. hop online to play their right. whatever uh-huh. it is together. Uh-huh. And they do it as much as they can. The same mm-hmm. thing. Get mm-hmm. on and play Call of Duty together. I mean, mm-hmm. of course, Shaheen, stay woke, bro. Uh, women do that too. <laughs> That's not the point. But like in in a general <laughs> sense, I don't Thank think. you. Yes. That's my point. Yeah. Huh. I just find that interesting. I find that interesting because there's no, there's no reason why they can't or don't. You know, it's like. How come? I just wonder what that is. Why? Why? Right. Why well, ladies right. tend to do that? Also, not Sean's world. <laughs> yeah. Well, not even. Yeah. Better be careful. Not as much anymore. <laughs> yeah. Not as much. Not as much anymore. Okay. What does your wife's? What is your wife's hobby, Sean? Or does she? Oh, she I mean, right now. Uh, Don't look at her. Uh, Don't look at her. <laughs> No, she's not here. She might hear. She might. She might be here. I can't hear after. I mean, I don't know. Dog, dog barked at something. Maybe she's here. Uh, no. Um, what's my wife's hobby? Um, I mean, she she goes on hikes. She goes on walks mm-hmm. with other with other women, other moms. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so there's like a like a whole mom group for that. Um, mm-hmm. in in her world, especially with what she does professionally. Uh, there's mm-hmm. a lot of activities around that and how they can also de-stress and go have cocktails, you know, once or twice a week. Okay. I mean, there's a, a, there's a lot. That's, that's and, that... and, and, and the thing is too, is like, I mean, all the women in my life tend to be pretty active doing lots of stuff. So I, you're it's just, you're for me. You're just, you're just Arch, fuck archery. <laughs> archery. Okay. You're taking it as a negative. I'm thinking women. I'm not either. I'm not trying like to make to it be, negative. Women don't like yeah. to be as repetitive as men. That's what I think. Hmm. Women oh, want okay. to mix it up. And men are more comfortable, like being hooked on this one silly activity and making it a part mm-hmm. of their life. Like these dudes that play mm-hmm. golf all the time, <laughs> golf a lot. Golfers golf, right? You know some golfers. Golfers be golfing. Golfers, golfers be, be golfing. golfing. 
and it's like it's like a part of their personality and i think women are just more diversified than mm. their best types mm. i take i was trying to think of maybe maybe <laughs> uh females enjoy being like just having a alone time and maybe the dudes don't enjoy the alone time they need to have companionship mm. they need to have people around independence maybe, maybe. Mm. Mm -hmm. yep dudes dudes are not they want to have they want to have bro time bro time over independent time and i think the ladies are just like god I'm so yeah. glad he's out golfing so i can just sit at home and just not be bothered by that son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah <laughs> right okay yeah uh, i mean that's that's sean's wife's words verbatim Sean's wife's word. You are describing like every woman's like what nightmare. So just like, <laughs> yeah. look, you want, I have to stay home and take care of everything in the house because that's what I enjoy while you go out and have beers and play golf. I get it. I get Correct. it. Correct. No, with my the free time. My, yeah. my, my uh -huh. place is in the kitchen. I get it. <laughs> I should, did I ever read that one Reddit to you guys where it's like this lady's writing to Reddit? She's like, my husband says he uh it takes him an average of six hours to play golf is that normal or should i be concerned and all these guys are typing holy shit he must be really going fast to get it back home to you you should be more lenient and expect nine to ten hours he must be really going fast i can't believe he must really love you <laughs> is that how long i don't know oh dude well it depends who you play with depends with the, you know our favorite uh reddit user billy uh that guy will play a nine hour round of golf easily Really? Uh, it's a part it's a part four billy you're hitting 12. So let's pick up the fucking ball bro <laughs> <laughs> that's why he let's doesn't get laid God. <laughs> his golf game his golf game's a cock blocker oh shit all right uh, and last but not oh god sorry go ahead Sean. Uh, i'm sorry totally fast but totally sidebar garrett <laughs> at the draft billy showed up with a mountain dew <laughs> no sugar alcohol yes, he did. Yes, he a did. spiked Mountain a Dew, hard, a hard, a hard, hard, Dew. sugar-free uh, Mountain Dew. Hard. And it was like, it was one of those Jesus and Christ size can. cans too. It was yeah. a tall can. Yeah. I never even. Um, oh, the monstrosity! Like, none of us. None of us. We were all stunned by it. That guy, he must have drove to like Mountain Dew HQ just to pull that sucker down, dude. So I was like, how do you and, even and, find that and, damn and, thing? And if we're talking percentages, I would argue we were all 50-50 on. I'm 50% surprised you got zero sugar. And 50% yeah. <laughs> surprised, surprised you found a, a yeah. spike, a hard alcohol yep. Mountain Dew. He's, yeah. he's one of one. And that is saying oh, something because easily. he's a twin. <laughs> that is even more remarkable. You're right, though. He's very different than Kerry. Very different there's, than there's brother. one of those, and they made two yeah. of those. That's crazy. <laughs> he is different though. They're they're drastically different. I don't know how much time you guys spent with Carrie, but they're very different. Oh yeah, for sure. It's, yeah, it's so it's hilarious. Good shit. Yeah, Bob uh, Billy. Good lord. We should just have a podcast where we just talk to that guy for an hour. Just, just have him talk to him. <laughs> yeah, just have him. Just give us give his. We're just, we're just sit. We're gonna play a clip for Billy. Let him weigh in first every time, <laughs> and then we mute his mic and make fun of him for twenty minutes, <laughs> oh, over and over and over. No, we love no. Billy. Oh, of course we love Billy, but we would destroy him. Okay, I don't. Yeah, no, no problem. No He's problem here. He has the best. Last but not least, last but not least, clip number five, Stavi's world. Good, good stuff. Stavi's a comedian. He always starts the show. You half the show is an interview with somebody, and the other half he takes like uh, questions from callers and stuff. This particular clip he has on uh, mean, not mean girls. Um, nope, ja uh, Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson. Uh, new girl. New girl. New, new girl. girl. Right. New girl. Yeah. New girls. Jake Johnson. And they talk about perhaps maybe the. Uh, greatest reality show of all time and i'm sad that it's not in america because you know your boy would be watching the shit out of this episode out of this reality show uh, my favorite, my favorite japanese, japanese uh game show thing i ever watched was uh you, you remember this one eldest do you remember this uh, it was um there was a straight japanese porn star mm -hmm. who was like <laughs> he's like look i'm a pro like you know i, I sex is just like a job for me whatever okay. but he only had sex with women only has sex with women, and there is a gay Japanese porn star, and he's like, "I'm the best at giving head in Japan." <laughs> oh and my the guy, god! The guy's like, "Dude, 
you will not make me bust. I'm straight as hell. There's no <laughs> oh way I'm going to bust. Oh, my God. And they're in a studio audience. <laughs> and this fucking, the guy, they put a box around the guy's oh dick. Oh, my God. They have girls. And there's, like, polite Japanese people just, like, standing, like, in the, in the like, they're watching, like, a political address. Just, like, <laughs> hands folded in, like, business that. suits. Will you nut or not? And it's literally, will this gay guy make this straight guy nut or not? And it's one of the funniest videos. It's it's on the internet That's somewhere. The best. One of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my life. They start fluffing him. So like this so guy's getting his dick sucked. Okay, so women are coming around. Women come around, you know, and, and he's a, and he's a porn star, so he he's can get a porn hard. star. He's, he's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. This is easy he's a pro. Me. So yeah, it's not. He's not. It's not. That's not part of the that's game. That's not okay. the game at all. And so he's in a box, and all these people are watching this guy get his dick sucked. And these ladies just kind of fluff him, and then what? here <laughs> comes this fat little. And he's like, he's not hot either. He's like a fat. He honestly does look like Bobby a lot he does look a lot like bobby lee uh and same body type little guy little By fat way, guy if, San, if it's santino as the guy oh i'm that's, watching that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i am 100 i'm like yeah and then if santino can comment with yeah, all my yeah, bobby yeah, can, yeah. i'm in man yeah, dude that they're that's, getting there they're, they're, there's no way but that's, a, that's an interesting <laughs> show man there's no way they don't Throw end up on there Netflix live. I'm, telling you, I'm telling you they're ending up there bobby will suck santino's dick on to get the patreon number Numbers up. Um, <laughs> the show so, is called Orgasm Wars, by the way. Orgasm Wars. See if you can find a picture of the little fat guy, uh, just so we could put it in post to, so people can see. That's the straight. Yeah, look at the guy's face. <laughs> oh my so, lord. So, <laughs> so he's getting his dick sucked, yes. and then and then the little the the fucking the little gay guy comes out, starts sucking his dick, and the guy's like, he's like y the, the straight guy's like, this ain't Yawn, shit. Yawn, boring. Oh. He's He's really yeah, it yeah, up is incredible. Boo, yeah, so yeah. And dude, and then it's like something, like not even that long. Yeah. Like a couple minutes so in, good. something in his demeanor changed, and he's like, huh. This is the best. It's like in hot gotten. ones where like the wing yeah, takes yeah, yeah. a second to kick in. <laughs> and he's like, that ain't shit. And they're like, whew, it's like that Shaq clip. <laughs> <where> he's like, <laughs> That he's trying to play it off. He's so good. Dude, and then and the gay guy's like, like, and then he does the, remember, in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, look at him. Look at that guy. Oh he's just a fat. Oh, my Lord, man. Anyway, remember in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire the first time where the guy called his dad to be like, just want to let you know I won a million dollars? The gay guy, like, peeks his head out, winks at the audience, <laughs> knows when the guy's going to come. I mean, He's such a pro, he can feel the nut I traveling. Gotta, I got to tell you, I don't care that he sucks another guy's dick. That's the most gangster <laughs> yeah, thing in the world. And any straight guy who pretends that isn't cool, you're late. Like, He's you're sucking a dude's dick on TV who claims you can't make him come, and, and you go like this? Yeah, he literally <laughs> winks, and like I think there's some cash prize, so he's about to win yeah. a bunch of Be money. Really funny if behind his back he goes like this, like three. Yes. <laughs> and, and dude, God. he just fucking, and the guy's like, no. In, <laughs> so incredible. incredible stuff, man. Japan's so ahead of the curve. <laughs> when I was, so, yeah. yeah, when I was growing up. My <laughs> Oh my gosh! Can you imagine? What are the ratings would be on that show if that was broadcast like on ABC right before the right before the debate tonight? We got uh, <laughs> not ABC. or not or whatever. <laughs> orgasm wars, yeah, orgasm wars on ABC. Holy Moses! That story was phenomenal, dude. I was like, yeah, I would watch the shit out of that, dude. I wonder what else there is. It's just like, <laughs> I wonder what the cash prize is, too. I mean, depending on what the cash prize is. I mean, Garrett's no stranger to game shows, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, holy smokes. Uh, just just a quick poll here. Would you guys watch that? Because I have it queued up right now. We could watch this sucker right now. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, wish. I wish. That would be hilarious, though. I don't think it's on YouTube. I don't know if that could be on YouTube. That's hilarious. I don't think Orgasm Wars. How funny is that? Orgasm Wars. Good stuff. By the title, you would think it was something else, like a, like a super soaker fight. But... <laughs> Yeah, that the way the title leads me is orgasm yeah. wars shooting each other. This is yeah. trying not to orgasm, right? Correct. Do they, yeah. Oh, we, yeah, I mean, you got to look into this for next week. You got to do a, for sure. a fe feature on this because do a deep dive. Yeah, I'll watch season one, two, and three and let you guys know. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, anything? Uh, I mean, we're still going to go around the room too. That's okay. All's forgiven. We can start off with Sean. Sean, anything that you feel smarter on 
than you did an hour ago. Is there something that you're walking away with the show that you learned? Is there any kind of learning going on? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Uh, I learned that we all had the same experience of sharper image growing up. That, <laughs> yes, that was that was spot on, 100%. And, and even to the way you described it, well, mom's going to go do her thing over here. I know exactly where I want to go. It's sharper image. Yep. Mom's Everyone did. Pitties, buy Everyone back to did. school gear. Yep. Might get me some fresh new LA gears or some British Knights. And utility, I'm going to go get, yeah. Uh, utility <laughs> shirts or whatever the hell those were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go get a free massage and a chair that I'll never be able to afford. Good stuff. Well, did, he, did anyone, did you know anyone that ever bought anything from Sharper Image? I, no, I didn't. No, negative, negative. Right. No, no. I grew up in the mountains. So, I mean, like, no one up there can afford a Sharper Image massage chair. <laughs> okay. It's pretty. Pretty safe, pretty safe bet. Uh, Garrett, you feel smarter? Any takeaways from today's show? Did you learn anything? Yeah, I do. But, uh, dating back to topic one, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> and that's duck soup. <laughs> <laughs> the end sound is that? I guess. What do you want it to be? Could do... Uh... No, we'll get we'll get popped by YouTube on that. We'll get popped by YouTube on that. And that was duck soup. <laughs> duck soup. <laughs>